All right, well, in just a few short days, voters across America will head to the polls to decide the future of their nation, their states, and their communities. But one of the many important elections here in Metro Detroit is for a judgeship in Oakland County. And this video of a traffic stop where police say candidate for judge Julie McDonald was drunk. The case now making many people angry after she got a plea deal that many say Royal Oak isn't taking drunk driving seriously enough. Sean Lay is live where people are lining up at the 11th hour to challenge McDonald for this job. Sean. Kimberly, you are correct. A lot is happening now just days away before the polls opening. The city attorney in Royal Oak who reached that plea bargain deal with Julie McDonald says people have been calling his phone asking why these DUI charges had been dropped and dropped right before the election here. In the meantime, four other candidates have stepped forward. They're looking for write in votes to challenge Julie McDonald. That's candidate for Oakland Circuit Judge Julie McDonald failing. A road sobriety test in September. Police say she smelled of alcohol, was speeding up Woodward Avenue at 1045 in the morning and blew a .102. Police say she was driving drunk. And McDonald herself sounded like she was asking that officer to let her off the hook. I'm running for an office right now. Okay. This will me up really bad. The officer said no favors, but plenty of people in the area sure think the Royal Oak City Attorney did her a huge favor by dropping her DUI charge this week in favor of a littering charge. I think that's uh, highly unusual. And I do, I think if that would happen to any of the three of us, we would not be provided such an opportunity. Corrine one of four veteran Oakland County lawyers now running for the same judgeship as a write-in candidate. But McDonald is the only name on the ballot. She was running unopposed for the $145,000 a year seat. I think it's demonstrative. It speaks for itself. I mean, I think it shows someone that probably should not have been driving. Royal Oak City Attorney Dave Gillum tells Local 4 that he, quote, stands by the plea agreement. We looked at the facts of the case. Back here live, another thing happening is the many people have already filled out absentee ballots. Many of those say they voted for McDonald and now want to change their ballot. They're being told on Monday they had the chance to do that, to see their clerk and they make any amendments, any changes or corrections to their personal absentee ballot. Kimberly. Well, Sean, I don't suppose there's anything from Julie McDonald herself on this. Yeah, not personally. Her attorney says that she is sorry, uh, but she will be sentenced for that littering charge now after the election. Two more things. The issue is going to be reported to the Attorney Grievance Commission. If she wins the judgeship, it'll be reported to the Judicial Tenure Commission. So something to watch. Yeah, we'll see how it all plays out. Okay, Sean.